Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, one thing you did mention, um, it was like 10 minutes ago at this point, uh, you mentioned some... It, with a DWM fork that breaks all the patches, it's like someone forking GNOME and then it breaks all the plugins. You don't need to fork GNOME for that. You just need to update it. GNOME breaks all the plugins every update. <laughs> That's so true. Uh, and they do it. They absolutely... They say they don't do that on purpose. They, 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 they say, oh, we're all for extensions. <laughs> we even created this awesome extension manager. Um, but first off, you absolutely do it on purpose because they all break every single update. But also, your extension manager was forked by someone else and actually made good, and you still refuse to put the good one inside of GNOME. Also, mm -hmm. you don't ship it with GNOME at all. The distro is responsible for shipping the extension manager. So mm -hmm. you're not pro-extensions. In the perfect world, GNOME would absolutely have no extensions whatsoever. Mm -hmm. you, you would use GNOME the way they want you to use GNOME, and, and that's fine. The, the thing is, every time that I try GNOME or every time I talk about GNOME, there's always... 10, 12 people that show up and say, I love the way the GNOME workflow works. It just makes 100% sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 we're all very special snowflakes. We all do things differently, you know, um, but I don't get the GNOME guys. I just, that workflow just does not work for me. And I'm glad that it works for other people. But for, for me, if I'm going to use a desktop environment, it has to be, and I hate to say this and I'm going to lose my Linux card, but it has to be Windows like. You know, it has to, it has also, it has, it has to feel like a Linux thing where I can customize it. If GNOME is too much like a, a lockdown piece of software for me and it just bugs me, even though you can, you can, I've, if you, you troll Unix porn as much as I do, you can see people do amazing things with GNOME and like, how did you do that? And how long is it going to last until they do an update? You know, <laughs> so G GNOME is definitely not uh, for me, but. People really like. There, there's a reason why every distro chooses GNOME and not KDE. I mean, there's just absolutely a reason. Well, it's a well curated experience, and for a lot of people, that experience is <clears throat> is really nice. And I get it. And a, a big part of the reason why they do ship GNOME is uh, traditionally packaging KDE is just a nightmare. And then the release cycle of KDE is also terrible as well. Where it's like, you have the three major components that are all released at different times, at different cadences. So if you're a stable release like an Ubuntu, for example, it's kind of a mess just to package the things you actually want to package. Whereas GNOME, it's like, okay, we release six months on the dot every single time. And that's a lot easier for distros to do just work with if you're someone like, like if you're a distro like arch for example and you're just shipping things whenever or tumbleweed or something like that gen 2 it doesn't matter what the release cadence is but especially if we're talking like red hat for example they want a strict release cycle that they can understand and yeah it, it just makes sense why it's so popular to actually be shipped plus it's just and it's, it's got the red hat support so it's well developed <laughs> And it's a set number of packages that hardly ever changes. Mm -hmm. You know, they have they have a certain son number of packages. They're all wonderfully maintained, and with at least within the core GNOME stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You have a, obviously, if you if you go through, there's like a list of GNOME apps on their website. They have a they have almost as many applications, their official GNOME apps, as KDE does. But mm -hmm. you know, the core stuff, what they ship, is a very small amount of of packages. If you, if you look at that com in comparison to the KDE dependencies, it's absolutely crazy. If you download just like one, even if you're not going to have Plasma on your machine and you download a Qt application, it's like downloading a Haskell application or uh, anything written in Python. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up with a ton of libraries, a ton of all this nonsense. And, and a lot of distros now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but they've been mm -hmm. doing this weird thing where they package together. Like if you were to download Thunar, Sure. A lot of distros will actually package Cinnamon Desktop right with it. Like, you have to download both unless you use the flag to ignore it. That's a lot of distros. That's on Fedora and on Ubuntu. Both do that. Okay. It's really weird. Um, not, not, not Cinnamon. Excuse me. I, I misspoke there. XFC. Sure, sure, sure. Lunar is XFC. It's Nemo that they do with the, with the Cinnamon. They do it with both. It's really, really odd. Like, you have to download both. Now, you can choose to not do that. You, there's a flag or whatever that says ignore hard dependencies or ignore soft dependencies i think was for, for like arch or whatever um you can do that and all of the package managers have something similar to that but you, you download their their file manager you're also going to get 
the desktop environment usually that goes with it. And there's several different distros. I, I, I don't know for sure if Nautilus, if you did, for whatever full reason you decided you were going to use Nautilus as your, your file manager on a non GNOME thing, you can do that. Um, I'm not sure if they bring GNOME along with it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it seems, I don't know why they've begun to do that, but it's over the last year I've just noticed that. Hmm. It's really, really weird. Um, yeah. I can't say I've experienced that, but I do know what you mean about just pulling down a ton of dependencies. I use Caden Live, obviously, and I've probably got half the KDE libraries installed because of it. 